educator here at the Canadian Ecology Centre. Welcome to the forest of the Samuel de Champlain Provincial Park. Today I'm super excited because we're going to be building a Quincy together. I have my friend Dan here and he's going to help. For those of you who don't know what a Quincy is, it's a big pile of snow and then you let it sinter, let it sit and harden, and then you dig into it and you can spend the night or just the afternoon inside your own little snow home. How cool! We're going to begin, but first you need to know a few things that you need to bring out with you. We need a shovel for each person and some snowshoes. We've also found a wide open area here filled with a lot of untouched snow. That's important so we're not trying to move around trees or bushes. We can just get as much snow as we can. Before we start piling snow, I'm going to make an outline of the circle that our Quincy will be on. That's where the snowshoes come in handy. making your Quincy in between the piling of snow you want to be doing some packing of the snow too. You can use your snowshoe for the edges and you can take your shovel to help you pack on top. This is to help sintering. Sintering means to apply pressure to snow and then it becomes compact as all the snowflakes meet each other and lose their points. and it's all done. It was a lot of work, but it was also fun. Now we're gonna wait overnight and let the snow harden up and then tomorrow we're gonna come back and dig it out. See you tomorrow. Hi everyone, we're back again at our Quincy and it is really tough. It's really created a strong layer. So I brought a Frisbee and a shovel. The Frisbee is going to allow me to shovel in places and make our small hole where we'll be entering and exiting. I'm noticing that the wind is coming a lot from that direction, so we've decided to put our hole of entrance right here so that the wind isn't coming into our entrance at nighttime. we've started to dig our entrance to our Quincy, uh, we're going to start hollowing out the inside where we're going to be spending most of the time. And it's important that when you're digging from the inside that you don't want to dig all the way through and break through the top of the Quincy. So I've collected some sticks. They're all pretty much the same size. I've broken them up the same length and I'm going to be sticking them into the Quincy. So I'm going to be sticking them about a foot into the Quincy so when I'm inside digging and I reach the end of a stick I know it's time to stop digging because that's going to be the thickness of my walls. So now that the entrance is big enough, we can start using the shovel to kind of rake it down from the top and flip it over and scoop it out.
it going? Good. It's getting big. We finished hollowing out our Quincy, and now I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I have my flash on because it's pretty dark in there. Here's our little tunnel entrance. And here's the inside. It's big enough that we can sit up in. We're headed out to spend the night at the Quincy. We have our Hulk all packed up and we're headed out. We carved out a little shelf in our Quincy for some candles and we're gonna see if the candles warm up the Quincy. They sure light it up nicely. We've got all of our blankets out and our sleeping bags. Good morning. Good morning. We just woke up in the Quincy. We're all bundled up with lots of layers and sleeping bags and we've got our therma rest. We had a pretty warm night last night. We got into the Quincy and we checked the thermometer when the candles were going and it was three or four degrees warmer than it was outside. Did you have a good sleep, Dan? Yep, pretty good. Thank you so much for joining us on our night in the Quincy. We had a lot of fun building it and hollowing it out and getting it all nice and cozy for a good night's sleep. We hope that you have fun building snow forts, sleeping in them, or just spending the day.